Sanchin Maha Mantra. O Hari, O Hari, having captured my mind, uh, or, or to say, please free me from material bondage. Uh, material obrovstva. O Krishna, O Krishna, please attract my mind by pulling it to you. O Hari, O Hari, please capture my mind by your unsurpassed sweetness. O Krishna, O Krishna, please, please purify my mind with knowledge about devotional service given to me by your own devotee. O Krishna, o Krishna, please make me able to relish your transcendental name. Your form, qualities and pastimes. O Krishna, O Krishna, Please make me able to relish your transcendental habit and okay. Please, O oh Hari, please make me fit to serve you. O oh Hari, momente učini me sposobnim da te služim. O oh Hari, please make me able to relish your transcendental name, form, qualities and pastimes. O oh Hari, momente dopusti mi da okusim tvoje transcendentalno eh, ime, oblike, eh, odlike i zamave. O oh, Hari, please direct me to do some particular service for you. O oh, Hari, molite uputi me da učinim neku uh, službu za tebe. O oh, Rama, let me hear about your most cherished pastimes. O oh, Rama, daj da čujem o tvojim najcenjenijim zabavama. In the company of your dearest devotees. O društvu tvojih najdražih pakta. O oh, Hara, O oh, Hara, O oh, Hara, Radha, Rada. Please reveal, reveal to me your most transcendental, your most cherished pastimes. Molimte, razotkrimi svoje uh, najcijenjenije zabave. With your beloved Sri Krishna. Sa svojim voljenim Sri Krishna. O Rama. O Rama. Please reveal to me your most cherished pastimes with your beloved Sri Radha. Uh, molimte, razotkrimi svoje najcijenjenije zabave sa svojim voljenim Sri Radha. O oh, Rama, please engage me in remembering your transcendental name. O oh, Rama, molim te angažiraj me u uh, sjećanju na tvoje transcendentalno ime. Form, qualities and pastimes. Odlik, uh, odlike i zabave. O oh, Rama, please make me fit to serve you. O oh, Rama, molim te učini me sposobnim da te služim. While remembering your transcendental name. Dok se sjećam tvoje transcendentalno imena. Form, qualities and pastimes. Oblika, odlika i zabava. O oh, Hari, O oh, Hari, having accepted me as one of your own servitors, pošto si me prihvatio kao jednog od svojih slugu, please enjoy me as you please. Molim te uživaj u meni kako god želiš. O oh, Hari, O oh, Hari, please enjoy me in your transcendental way. Molim te uživaj u meni na svoj transcendentalni način. This is my humble request that your lotus feet spoken by Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Mm -hmm. So each of the names in the mantra, there is a prayer connected with the names. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So each of the names we can offer a prayer along with that name. Svakom imenu možemo ponuditi molitvu zajedno sa tim imenom. Umdjan, smiram za svijet, genam džina svakaja, čak su imeni za njenata, sva je šri gledima. Nama om, višnju padaje, kršnja kršnja je utaj, šiva, tiva, kiviran, kusvami i dinane. Namaste, si sada svaki idej, veri bor, hamani, pičan, čan, mir, si sada si, hamani, Sat 
Tai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Adeta Vedanta Vasanasana Gurudha Bhakti Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So when I was here a month ago Dakle, kad sam bio ovdje prije mjesec dana, we spoke on the pastimes and activities of Srila Haridas Thakur. Pričali smo o zabavama i aktivnostima Srila Haridas Thakur. And so I was requested to continue. I zamolili su me da nastanem. So when I, when he heard that I was going to speak about him again, he wanted to come. I kad je on čuo da ću opet pričati o njemu, on je poželio doći. So he's here today. On je ovdje danas. To see all of you who are eager to hear about him. Da vidi sve vas koji ste željni slušanja o njemu. Here's a nice book. Ovdje je jedna lijepa knjiga. It's called Namacharya, A Life of Shiva Haridas Thakur. Zove se Namacharya, Živa Shiva Haridas Thakur. A beautiful, very complete, very, as most complete compilation of the life of Shiva Haridas Thakur by one How about a disciple named Rupa Vilas Prabhu? To je najpotpunija kompilacija priča o životu Šila Harida Stakura koju je napisao pravopada učenik Rupa Vilas Prabhu. And all the great acharyas, Šila Harida is very much connected with us in our practice. Od svih acharya Šila Harida Stakur je veoma povezan s nama u našoj praksi. He has the title of Nama Acharya. On ima titulu Nama Acharya. Acharya means one who teaches by example. Acharya znači onaj ko poučava primjerom. So Narayana Hara, Srila Haridas Thakur, teaches by example the process of chanting the Hare Krishna Mahi Mantra. Srila Haridas Thakur svojim primjerom poučava proces mantranja Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Which we know is the most important activity in devotion. A znamo da je to najvažnija aktivnost u predanom služenju. It's the foundation, it's the expression, it's the goal of everything devotional. To je temelj, izraz i cilj svega devocijskog. The holy name of the Lord is actually descended from the spiritual world. Sveto ime gospodina zapravo se spušta iz duhovnog svijeta. Narakam das takor says, Golokeda Pranodana Harinam Sankirtan Ratim Jan Vino Kene Upani That this chanting of the Hare Krishna Mahamantra is directly descending from Sri Vrindavan in the spiritual world. Srila Narutam Das Thakur kaže da se ovo pjevanje Svetog imena direktno spušta iz Vrindavana u duhovnom svijetu. So this Maha Mantra is pure spiritual sound vibration coming from the pure spiritual abode of Krishna in Sri Vrindavana. Ova Maha Mantra je čista zvučna vibracija koja dolazi iz čistog prebivališta duhovnog Sri Vrindavana. But when it comes, where does it go? It says it comes to this world, but where does it go? I rekli smo ona dolazi u ovaj svijet, ali kamo onda ide? Goes into the hearts of the pure devotees. Ide u srca čistih bhakta. That's the only place it goes. To je jedino mjesto kamo ide. And then the pure devotees think, well, now I have to give it to everybody. I onda čisti bhakta misle, o, pa sada to moram dati svima. So the combined mercy of the holy name and the combined mercy of the pure devotees They distribute that to each and every one of us. I zapravo mi dobivamo kombiniranu milost svetog imena i svakog pojedinog bakte, jer nam ti bakte to dijele. And because of their kindness, they want to share something that is wonderful, so they want to share and bring it to the whole world. I zbog svoje dobrote oni žele podijeliti nešto što je prekrasno, i podijeliti to sa cijelim svijetom. Not only they want to share it, but they are very eager for people to take it. Ne samo da to žele podijeliti, nego oni veoma gorljivo, imaju veoma gorljivo želju da ljudi to uzmu. So eager that when people don't take it, 
That is their only unhappiness. Ta želja je toliko gorljiva da kad ljudi to ne uzmu, to je njihova jedina nesreća. The pure devotees can never be unhappy because they are purely connected with Krishna. Čisti bhakti nikad ne mogu biti nesretni jer su povezani s Krišnom. But they do experience the sadness that the whole world is not singing Hare Krishna. Ali osjećaju tu guš što cijeli svijet ne pjeva Hare Krišna. So Prabhupada, in one of his lectures, he says, Prabhupada u jednom od svojih predavanja kaže, Only when the whole world is chanting Hare Krishna, will the desires of the pure devotees become satisfied. Tek kada cijeli svijet bude pjevao Hare Krišna, želje čistih bhakta će biti ispunjene. That is their compassion. To je njihovo suosjećanje. And so if we take it, i ako mi prihvatimo to pjevanje i učinimo to najvažnijom stvari u svojoj devocijskoj praksi, mi ćemo zadovoljiti čiste bakte. A to znači zadovoljiti Krišnu, jer Krišna je zadovoljna kad su zadovoljni čisti bakte. When they see everyone becoming pure devotees, čisti bakte su zadovoljni onda kada vide da svi postaju čisti bakte. Sometimes we think, well, I like to please a pure devotee. Po nekad mislimo, oh, pa ja bi volio zadovoljni čistog bakte. So they want to give something. Pa onda žele nešto dati. They give some dakshi. Da im neku dakshi. Or they give some gifts. Ili da im neki poklon. Or they do a little service ili naprave neku službicu. That's nice. To je lijepo. It's accepted. To se prihvaća. But the real thing that pleases the world, the pure world is. Ali ono što zapravo zadovoljava čiste bakte, greatly pleases them. U velikoj, velikoj mjeri. Which means pleasing Krishna. A to znači da zadovoljava i Krišnu. Because when they see your chanting Hare Krishna. Jer da vide da pjevate Hare Krišna. There's nothing greater that pleases the great souls, because they know Krishna is pleased, and therefore everyone is becoming better for us. Ništa više ne zadovoljava velike duše od toga, jer oni znaju da je Krishna tada zadovoljan i da te duše dobivaju dobrobit. So in the life of Shri Hari Das Thakur, he chanted 333,333 names of God every day. Što se tiče života Harida Stakura, možemo reći da je on svaki dan pjevao 333.333 sveta imena. To znači 192 kruga džabe svaki dan. Mi smo da je 16 krugova. To je tako teško. Guru Maharaj, daj malo popusti. Lower the numbers. Spusti broj malo. He'll say, I already lowered it, I can't go any lower. A oni kažu, pa ja sam već to spustio, ne mogu više spustiti. Sixteen rounds. Šestnaest krugova. But Guru Maharaj, I'm not a pure devotee. Ali Guru Maharaj, ja nisam čisti bakta. But if you chant 16 rounds, you will become one. Ali ako mantra 16 krugova, postaćeš čisti bakta. But getting there is difficult. Doći do tamo je teško. I'll help you. Ja ću ti pomoći. By telling you, chant 16 rounds. Tako što ti kažem, mantra 16 krugova. And I'll make sure you do it. I poprinut ću se da to i učiniš. I go for sure. Ili neće dobiti prasadom. So it's kind of what we call loving coercion. To je ljubavna prisila. So Hari Das Thakur, he chanted 192 rounds, and he still would use a few hours in the day to preach Krishna consciousness. Shila Hari Das Thakur je mantra, znači 192 kruga, i i dalje bi par sati u danu uspjevao propovjedati svjesno s Krišnjom. He was eager to spread the mercy of everybody. Imao je gorljivu želju raširiti milost osuda. So it describes in one part of his life, he settled in one area of Navadvip, it's called Ulija. Opisuje se da se u jednom 
period života smjestio u dijelu navadbi pa koje se zove Kulija. Now, he just came there and took residence on the bank of the Ganga. Došao je tamo i nastanio se na obali Gange. And he was chanting. I mantrao je. Now, this was the area very close to the house of the great Acharya. To je bilo područje jako blizu kući Advaita Acharya. So when Advaita Acharya found that Shila Haridas had caught a comet, he was so happy. Kad je Advaita Acharya saznao da je Shila Haridas tako došao, bio je jako sredan. So he was regularly visited. On je ga redovito posjećivao. And then the word spread everywhere. Oh, this great saint is here and fully chanting and giving his darshan to everyone. I proširila se, uh, proširio se glas posuda. Ovaj veliki svetac je ovdje u Kuli, on mantra i daje svoj daršan, odnosno svi ga mogu vidjeti. And every, all the great saints, stages, and even people in general who are of different nationalities, different religions, they came to see and, and get the mercy of Haridas. I svi sveci i mudraci, ali čak i obični ljudi koji god bili nacionalnosti, dolazili su kako bi dobili miro, milost od Haridasa. Well, everyone was happy that such a great saint had come. Svi su bili sredni što je tako veliki svetac došao. Except one person. Osim jedne osobe. His name was, we don't know his name, but he had a title, he was called the Kazi. Ne znamo mu ime, ali znamo mu titulu, a ona je Kazi. He's second in command. On je drugi u zapovjednom lancu amongst the Islamic government uh, u, u islamskoj vladi which was the ruling class at the time a oni su tada vladali Indijom ja. so he became angry that Haridas was converting and making so many people chant Hare Krishna i oni su se uh, on, oni su se ljutili što je Haridas preobraćao mnoge ljude i navodio ih da mantraju Hare Krishna so he came to the chief Mulak, or the main, not the Kazi, but the, the Muslim king. He said, you know what's happening? This, this person called Haridas, he was born in a Muslim family. On je rođen u muslimanskoj obitelji. practicing the religion of the Hindus. Ali prakticira religiju Hindusa. And he's making other Muslims Hindus. I on druge muslimane pre- preobraća na hinduizam. He should be punished, he should be stopped. Treba ga kazniti, treba ga zaustaviti. This is heresy. Ovo je hereza. This is, you know, we cannot tolerate this. Ovo ne možemo tolerirati. You should bring him here and punish him. Trebamo ga dovesti ovdje i kazniti. So the king was listening. I tako je kralj slušao. So he arranged for Haridas to come. I on je dogovorio da Haridas dođe. And he said, uh, Haridas. I rekao je, Haridas. You were born in a Muslim family. Rođen si u muslimanskoj obitelji. Why do you take up the activities of the Hindus? Zašto si počeo prakticirati aktivnosti Hindusa? Haridas tako je sen. Haridas tako je rekao. We see every day some people who are Muslim they become Hindus and some Hindus they become Muslim. So what's the fault? A svaki dan vidimo da neki ljudi koji su muslimani postaju Hindusi i neki Hindusi postaju muslimani. U čemu je problem? So, when the king said, well, we have to understand that you were born in a Muslim family, you, you're in a high birth. <laughs> a kra- superior birth. <laughs> a kralj je rekao, Uh, pa moraš razumjeti da kad se rodiš u muslimanskoj obitelji, to je visoko, superiorno rođenje. So you're, go, you're going down to the lower activities of the Hindus. Ti se zapravo spušta, spuštaš na niske grane prakticirajući. So you should stop. <laughs> I zato trebaš prestati. Arida said, we see that the Supreme Lord is understood in different religions by different names. Harida si rekao, pa vidimo da, da svevišnje gospodina u različitim religijama e, razumijevaju pod različitim imenima. And the Supreme Lord is one. A svevišnji gospodin je jedan. So, some people worship him as Hindu, and some people worship him as Krishna, and others worship him as Allah. 
neki ga štuju kao Krišnu, a neki kao Allaha. And therefore he is the same person. I stoga on je ista osoba. So what's the fault? Everyone is worshiping according to their own desire. U čemu je problem? Svi štuju prema njihovim vlastitim željama. And the Lord appears in the heart to inspire people to worship in a certain way. I gospodin se pojavlja u srcu kako bi inspirirao osobu da ga štuje na određeni način. So the Lord has come to me and he is he is inspiring me to worship him as Krishna. <laughs> I tako je gospodin došao meni i inspirirao me da ga štujem kao Krišnu. So he spoke somewhat the interfaith understanding that God is one, religion is one, the inspiration to worship is one, so why fault anyone for their inspiration? Govorio je o međureligijskom razumijevanju, odnosno o tome da je Bog jedan i da je ta inspiracija u srcu isto jedinstvena i zašto nekoga kriviti radi njegove inspiracije. Now, there were many people listening to Haridas. Mnogi ljudi su slušali Haridasa. And everyone thought, oh, Haridas is speaking very, very uh, correctly. I svi su mislili, da, Haridas priča vrlo točno. But the Kazi, he was still there. Ali Kazi je i dalje bio tamo. He said, just listen to this person, he's a heretic. I on je rekao, poslušajte ovu osobu, ona je heretik. Yeah, he's using all these nice words just to endorse his own form of worship, which is a form of cheating. On koristi lijepe riječi kako bi propagirao svoj način štovanja koji je u stvari prevara. So he should be punished. Njega treba kazniti by being beaten treba ga prebiti by whips by strong torturers in in the marketplaces treba ga bičevi matuči snažni mučitelji na tržnicama so he was trying to encourage the king to punish Haridas i on je pokušavao da govoriti kralja da kazni Haridasa the king said to Haridas kralj je rekao Haridas you know, we could kill you pa znaš mi bismo te mogli ubiti And Haridas said, well, yeah, that's true. Haridas je rekao, pa, da, vi ste. But even if you take my body, ali čak i ako mi uzmete tijelo, and you cut it into a hundred pieces, i razrežite ga na sto komada, and each piece will be chanting Hare Krishna. Svaki komadić će pjevati Hare Krishna. And in my next life, I will continue to chant Hare Krishna. I u idućem životu i dalje ću pjevati Hare Krishna. Ah, the king the king was kind of intelligent he listened Kralj bio inteligentan i poslušao je still he wasn't convinced Ali nije bio baš uvjeren So the Kazi was again encouraging the king to kill Haridas I Kazi je opet nagovarao Kazi kralja da ubije Haridasa And then the, the king agreed Yes I think because you were born born in such a high birth and now you are acting as a low class person There is no other destiny for you than to be beaten until you no longer have any breath left. Uh, I kralj je tada rekao, da, mislim da zbog toga što si potratio svoje visoko rođenje na ovaj način, mislim da te treba tući tako dugo dok u tebi više ne bude ostalo daha. So they took Haridas away. I onda su ga odveli su Haridasa. They tied him up. Svezali su ga. And they had these two big, very powerful Almost like wrestlers. I dva kršna momka hrvača. And they had these big whips. Sa velikim bičevima. Strong whips. And they tied Haridas and then they start dragging him along the ground. Su, oni su svezali Haridasa i počeli su ga vući po podu. And they were going into public marketplaces. I išli su na javne tržnice. And they were beating him with the whips. I tamo su ga tukli bičevima. And his back. But by the grace of the Lord, Haridas wasn't feeling anything. Ali gospodinovo milošću Haridas nije uopće osjećao bol. And he was smiling. I on se smiješio. And he was chanting Hare Krishna. I pjevao je Hare Krishna. He never stopped chanting Hare Krishna. Nikad nije stao s pjevanjem Hare Krishna. And now people were watching and seeing what was happening. A ljudi su gledali i vidjeli su što se događa. And they were thinking, this is a great saint. And he's been... Court, tortured and killed. We should stop it. I ljudi su mislili, ovo je veliki svetac 
I oni se sad njega muče i ubijaju. Mi, bi, mi bismo to trebali za, zaustaviti. I ljudi su dolazili do tih mučitelja i govorili stanite, stanite, ovdje je veliki svetac. I ljudi su govorili daću vam što god želite, imam vam mogućnost dati sve što god želite, samo ga nemojte više mučiti. I padali su pred stopala mučitelja kako, kako bi ih naveli da prestanu, ali oni nisu prestajali. So from one to him. I oni su ga bukli od jedne tržnice do druge, mlateći ga. He wasn't any pain. I opisano je, on uopće nije osjećao bol. <laughs> Možete misliti, pa kako je to moguće? To se zove Krišna. When one is absorbed, fully in devotional service one doesn't touch the material energy in order to the material energy touch that person kad je neko potpuno apsorbiran u svjesnosti krišne on ne dodiruje materijalnu energiju niti materijalna energija dodiruje njega i was just uh, scratching my head <laughs> samo sam sučešao glad uh, and so they continue one marketplace after another. I tako su oni nastavili jednu tržnicu za drugom. All the while Haridas was praying. Cijelo vrijeme Harida se molio. Not only was he chanting, but in his mind he was praying for these torturers to receive the mercy of God. Ne samo da je mantrao, nego se molio da njegovi mučitelji prime milost Božju. He had no negativity towards any of them. Nije osjećao nikakvu negativnost prema bilo kome od njih. They went to 22 market prices. E, na kraju su obišli 22 tržnice. Mučitelji su bili toliko umorni da više nisu mogli ni dići ruke. And then they understood. I onda su razumjeli. You are a great saint. Ti si veliki svetac. Nobody has ever passed even two or even three market prices in You have gone through all 22 and you're here and you're still chanting and you're smiling. <laughs> and we're tired. Niko prije nije izdržao niti dvije ili tri tržnice, a ti si izdržao svih 22. Još uvijek mantraš sve to ime, još uvijek se smiješiš, a mi smo umorni. Then they said to Haridas, but we are in trouble now. I onda su rekli Haridasu, ali mi smo sad na drapali. We are ordered to kill you. Jer nama su naredili da te ubijemo. I zbog toga što nismo uspjeli, we will be punished. Bit ćemo kažnjeni. Well, Harida said, oh, if that's the case, just watch. <laughs> A, ako je to tako, onda samo gledajte. So he went into Samadhi. On je otišao u Samadhi. All his external symptoms stopped. Svi izvanski simptomi života su prestali. Mm-hmm. And it appears that he was no longer living. I izgledalo je kao da više nije živ. They took his body, Uzeli se njegovo tijelo. They brought it back to the Kazi and to the king. I donijeli ga pred Kazija i pred kralja. The king said, take his body and, and bury it. I kralj je rekao, uzmite njegovo tijelo i zakopajte ga. But then the Kazi said, no. A Kazi je rekao, ne. Getting buried means that a person will get the mercy of god and be elevated he should his body should be thrown in a river like a piece of garbage uh, ako osobu ako se osobu zakopa znači da te, da će dobiti božju milost i biti uzdignuta njega treba njegovo tijelo treba baciti u rijeku kao smeće <laughs> so they brought his body down to the river bank i doveli su znači njegovo tijelo do obale And now they tried to lift it up and put it into the river. I probali su ga odići da ga stave u rijeku. This described Krishna entered his body at that time and it became so heavy they couldn't move it. I opisano da je u tom momentu Krišna ušao u njegovo tijelo koje je postalo toliko teško da ga nisu mogli ni pomaknuti. Everyone was trying to push the body in. Couldn't do it. Svi su pokušavali pogurnuti tijelo u rijeku, ali niko nije uspjevao. So <laughs> Nisu znali što će učiniti. 
I onda su jednostavno otišli. Then Hari Das went into the water by himself. <laughs> Hari Das je sam otišao do vode. He was floating under water. I on je putao na vodi. Came out on the other side. Izašao je na drugoj obali. And he started preaching and chanting again. <laughs> I tamo je počeo propovjedati i mantrati. It's in the same place. <laughs> na istom mjestu. When the king heard about it, kad je kralj to opet čuo, he could understand. Mogu je razumjeti. He went to see Hari Das. I otišao je pogledat Haridasa i pao je do njegovih stopala. Počinili smo veliku uvredu, ti si veliki svetac. Molim te oprostiti. Ne znamo što činimo. Nismo prepoznali tvoju veličinu. So the king said you may go anywhere and everywhere, you may stay anywhere and anywhere, and you may preach the glories of the Lord anywhere. I'll give you my permission. I kralj mu je rekao, dajem ti svoju dozvolu da putuješ gdje god želiš, propovjedaš gdje god želiš, da se nastaniš gdje god želiš. He just went on preaching like nothing happened. <laughs> I on je jednostavno nastavio propovjedati kada se ništa nije dogodilo. And sometime later, when Lord Chaitanya was having his Mahaprakash Lila in the house of Sri Vastakura, nakon nekog vremena kad je gospodin Četanja odigravao svoju Mahaprakaš Lilu u kući eh, Mahaprakaš Lila Mahaprakaš Lilu je odigravao u kući Sri Vastakura yeah, 21 hours when the Lord was in the mood of, become, of giving his mercy as the Supreme Lord to all his followers uh, to je uh, Lila koja je trajala 21 sat kad je gospodin davao svoju milost svim svojim sljedbenicima. Hmm. And so, Lord Chaitanya was, he was in the mood of God, which he never is, he's always in the mood of a devotee, and now he's offering benedictions, blessings and gifts to anyone and anyone, simply if they ask, that's all. <laughs> znači, tada je gospodin Chaitanya bio u raspoloženju Boga i davao bi uh, blagoslove i darove svima koji bi to zatražili. So the Lord turned to Haridas at one point. Gospodin se okrenuo Haridasu u jednom trenutku. He said, Haridas, you remember the time when those, those torturers were beating, with you, beating you with whips? I rekao je, Haridas, sjećaš li se onog puta kad su te oni mučitelji tukli onim uh, bićevima? When I saw that, I decided to come from Vaikuntha with my chakra and kill them immediately. Kad sam to vidio, odlučio sam doći s Vaikuntha sa svojim čakrom i odmah ih ubiti. But your prayers for their, for their forgiveness were so strong, my chakra could not move. Ali tvoje molitve da im oprostim su bile toliko moćne da se moja čakra nije mogla ni pomaknuti. But then I thought I have to help you somehow. Ali onda sam pomislio pa moram ti nekako pomoći. So I took my body and I put it on top of your body. I onda sam svoje tijelo stavio na tvoje tijelo. So you wouldn't feel any pain. Tako da ti ne osjećaš nikakvu bol. Then the Lord took off his cloth, turned around and said, the whip marks are still on my back and he showed them his back to Shila Haridas. I tada je gospodin uklonio svoju odjeću i rekao je tragovi ožici od bića se još vide na mojim leđima i pokazao je to Šila Haridas tako. His love for Haridas was so strong that the Lord was willing to take some punishment so he could save his devotion. E, ljubav gospodina Čitanja prema Haridasu je bila toliko jaka da je on podnio ovu kaznu kako bi spasio svog bakta. When Haridas saw what the Lord had done, he fainted. Kad je Haridas vidio što je gospodin učinio, on je jednostavno pao u nesvijest. It was too much for him that the Lord had, had sacrificed his own comfort and took the suffering that Haridas was supposed to get, because it has to go somewhere, and the Lord took it all. Uh, to je bilo previše za Haridasa, to što je gospodin žrtvovao svoju vlastitu ugodu radi njega, jer te batine su nekamo morale otići. When Haridas saw that, his, his mind was so overwhelmed with uh, just unhappiness that he just fainted. 
Kad je Haridas to vidio, njegov um je bio preplavljen nesrećom i on se jednostavno ne svijestio. Ko je šila Haridas tako? Zanimljivo. Kad je Krišna bio u Vrindavanu, ubio je jednog demona koji se zvao Agasura. To je bio veliki demon u obliku zmije koji je došao probutati Krišnu i sredi čake pastira. Ta zmija je razjapila usta kako bi privukla dječake pastire i Krišnu da je uđu u usta i da je proguta. Prvo su dječaci pastiri umarširali vnutra, a i ovaj demon je čekao da Krišna uđe. I kad je Krišna vidio da su njegovi prijatelji otrčali u usta ovog demona, on je postao preplavljen duhovnom tjeskovom. I onda je Krišna utrčao u njegovu usta. I čim je Krišna utrčao, demon je zatvorio usta. I Krišna je zatvorio svoje forme tako veliko, ali Krišna se toliko je povećao svoj oblik da je jednostavno demonu se cijela glava rasprsla i demon je umro. A duša ovog demona otišla je visoko na nebo. Ona je bila poput jarkog svijeta. I polubogovi su mogli to vidjeti. I zatim se ta duša spustila natrag dolje i ušla direktno u Krišnjeno tijelo. Ta duša je dobila oslobođenje. Posebnu vrstu oslobođenja. Jer kada Agasora zatvorio svoje mjese, on je zatvorio Posebno vrstu oslobođenja je kad je Agasura zatvorio usta, on je shvatio da je Krišna Bog. Zadnja stvar na koju je pomislio prije nego što je umro, je to da je Krišna svevišnja božanska osoba. I on je dobio oslobođenje i ne samo to, nego i isti oblik koji ima Krišna u duhovnom svijetu. Krišna je ovo sve izaranžirao tako da polubogovi to mogu vidjeti. A kada su polubogovi vidjeli što se dogodilo, i vidjeli su Krišninu milost prema ovom demonu, Imali su kirtan. Počeli su svirati, bubnjeve puhati u rogove, svi su plesali i svi su bili sretni, bio je veliki festival. So, the festival was so loud that he went to Brahma's abode in Brahma Lopa. Festival je bio toliko glasan da su oni otišli do Brame, na Brama Loku. Odnosno, Brama je to čuo i rekao je, nešto se događa, idem pogledati. Brama je vidio taj veliki festival polubogova. I onda je razumio, aha, ovaj dječak pastir je ubio ovog demona. I onda je razmišljao, pa ko je taj dječak pastir? On je poprilično moćan. Nije ga prepoznao kao svevišnje gospodina. 
I kasnije pokušao prevariti Krišnu. To find out how powerful Krishna was. Kako bi saznao koliko je zapravo moćan Krišna. So Krishna was in Vrindavan. Krishna je bio u Vrindavanu. And every day he would go and play with his cowherd friends. Svaki dan bi išao tamo i igrao se sa svojim dječacima po svijetu. He played all kinds of games. Igrao bi svakakve igre. He would sometimes imitate birds and go like this and run along the ground. Ponekad bi mahali rukama trčići i oponašajući ptice. And then he would laugh. Pa onda bi se smijali. And then he made animal sounds. Onda bi proizvodili zvukove životinja. Then he would run to a well. Onda bi otrčali do budara. And they would call funny names down the well. I izvikivali bi čudna i smiješna imena. And the names would come back up because the well was like an echo. I ta imena bi im se vraćala iz budara radi jeke. And then they would all laugh. I onda bi se oni smijali. And then they play all kinds of games. Svakakve igre su igrali. And then they get tired. I onda su se umorili. I onda je vrijeme za prsadam. So they would sit down with Krishna. I onda bi sjeli sa Krišnom. And all their mothers would give them these little lunch pails. I majke bi im dale te male lunch pakete. And they would all sit down and enjoy lunch. I onda bi svi uživali u ručku. And they would look into each other. They would look into Krishna's lunch pail and see. I onda bi pogledali što Krišna ima za ručak. Because Krishna always had the best. Jer Krišta je uvijek imao najbolju hranu. Oni bi uvijek pogledali što je majka Jašoda danas prema. A Krišta bi to podijelio s njima. I onda bi oni podijelili svoju hranu sa Krištom. I to se tako odvijalo. I krave su bile blizu. Ali krave su bile malo uznemirene, pa su odlučile otići. I tražile su neka druga mjesta na kojima bi mogle pasti travu. I dječaci pastiri su rekli, o, gle, odoše nam krave. Idemo. A Krišna je rekao, ne, ne, vi samo uživajte u ručku, idem ja po krave. I Krišna je otišao da uhvati krave. U tom momentu je došao Brahma i iskoristio svoju mističnu moć i pokušao ukrasti dječake pastire i tela koja su još bila s njima. I Krišna se vratio i pitao se, pa di su dječaci pastiri i tela? Kamo su otišli? Pomislili su, aha, opet nas je Brahma na Samari. Gospodin Krišna se ekspandirao each and every cowherd boy and each and every calf exactly according to that person's characteristics, natures, behavior, everything was the same. Ekspandirao se u svakog dječaka pastira i u svako tele točno onakvim kakvi su oni bili prema svim karakteristikama njihove. Now, this went on for one year. Ovo je trajalo godinu dana. Oh, now all the cowherd boys and calves had become Krishna. They were actually Krishna. They were no longer who they were. Znači, svi dječaci pored pastiri i sva tela su zapravo postali Krišna. Oni su zapravo bili Krišna, nisu bili ono ko su prije bili. So when they would go home at night to see their mothers, kad bi na večer otišli kućama svojim majkama, usually their mothers would just greet them and give them some supper and Inače bi ih majke jednostavno dočekale, dale im večeru, pospremile ih u krevet. Sada su majke bile jako uzbuđene i pokazivale su svoje djeci puno nježnosti i privrženosti 
i govorili su ne razumijemo, imamo toliko pribrženosti prema svoj djeci, svojoj djeci kao prema Krišni. They were all Christians, but they were in the forms of their children. Svi su oni bili zapravo Krišna, ali u oblicima tih dječaka pastira. And then the cows. A krame. The old cows. Znači ove starije krame. And they saw the calves that Krishna had become and they start running after these calves. Kad su vidjele znači ovu telad koja zapravo koja su zapravo bila ekspandirani Kriš ekspandirani Krišna počele su trčati za njima. And the cow herd men are trying to hold back the cows but they couldn't do it. I pastiri su pokušali zadržati krave ali nisu mogli. The cows were not just they they weren't chasing after their own calves but calves of other cows who actually became Krishna. <laughs> I krave zapravo nisu niti eh, nisu trčale za svojim vlastitim teličima, nego za teličima drugih krava, a to je zapravo bio Krišna. So this went on for one year. I to, to je trajalo godinu dana. I Balaram je nakon nekog vremena pomislio, nešto je ovdje sumnjivo, ne znam točno što se događa, ali nešto se događa. Sve je drugačije. There must be some mystic lady came and put spells on everybody. Možda je došla neka mistična žena i pobacala čarolije na sve nas. No, it's not that. It's Krishna. A ne, nije to to. To je Krišna. He went to Krishna and he said, what's going on? I otišao je do Krišne i pitao ga je što se događa. I Krišna mu je sve ispričao. Balaram je mislao. I Balaram je razumio. Jer Krišna je toliko moćan da može spuniti čak i Balarama. Niko ne može spuniti Balarama osim Krišna. I nakon godinu dana Brahma je odlučio se vratiti da vidi što se događa. I nakon godinu dana Brahma je odlučio se vratiti da vidi što se događa. Where he had taken the cavern boys and calves. I Brahma je došao na isto mjesto gdje je uzao dječake pastire i telad. And everything was the same. I sve je bilo isto. Krishna was there. Krishna bio tamo. Calves and boys were there and they were enjoying lunch. I telići i dječaci pastiri su bili tamo i oni su uživali u ručku. Brahma said, what is this? Brahma je rekao, pa što je ovo? So he ran into the cave where he put all these calves and cavern boys And they were there. I oni otrčao u špilju kamo je prije pospremio dječake pastire i svete teliče i oni su svi bili ondje. So he ran back to the banks of the Ganges, the Jamuna, and they were there. I onda je natrag otrčao na obalu Jamune i oni su bili i tamo. And they ran back to the cave and there they were again. I onda je otrčao natrag u špilju i tamo su isto bili. Now Brahma's got four heads. Brahma ima četiri glave. Glave su se vrtjele. Nije mogao shvatiti što se događa. I onda je shvatio, pa događa se nešto što ja ne razumijem. I onda je skužio, o o, mislim da se napravio pogrešao. Ovaj dječak pastir kojeg sam pokušao da samariti je moje obožavano božanstvo. I onda je Krišna učinio još nešto. Ekspandirao je sebe i sve dječake pastire i teliče u oblike Višnuva. So all the calves and all the cowherd boys that were taken by Brahma Now we're in the form of Vishnu. Znači, svi telići i svi dječaci pastiri koje je Brahma bio uzeo, su sada bili Vishnu. And now there were three sets. I sada su postojala, znači, tri kompleta. Brahma saw all this and he thought, I'm Brahma, but I don't know what's going on. I Brahma je ovo vidio i mislio, ja sam Brahma, ali nemam pojma što se događa. I think I'd better just 
go on for prayers to this person because I can't figure out this one. 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 I can't figure out He's just taking up my time. I Krishna is there. I should be only sad for a book, trashy game. I also want to eat and drink with my friends. My friends. Krishna would rather play and hear all these prayers. Krishna would be rather playing than listening to the prayers. So, and then Brahma, you know, Krishna was a little patient. Krishna was very patient. And then he's offering all these prayers. Those prayers are really beautiful. Brahma je nudio molitve koje su bile jako lijepe. It's the 14th chapter of the 10th canto. It's going to be considered the most beautiful prayers offered to Krishna by Lord Brahma. To su, to je 14. poglavlje 10. pjevanja Šrimad Bhagavatama i te molitve smatraju se najljepšima koje je Brahma nudio Krišnu. And at the end of the prayers, Brahma said, you know, I'm Lord Brahma. Na kraju molitvi Brahma je rekao, ja sam gospodin Brahma. And I've become proud. I postao sam ponosan. And I offended you. I uvrijedio sam te. I said, by trying to play tricks on me. Pokušavajući te prevariti. So, he was thinking, what can I do to make up for my offense? I mislio je, što mogu napraviti da se iskupim za uvredu? So, the Lord actually became a little merciful. Gospodin je postao malo milostiv. And he said, Brahma, in my next incarnation, you will also appear there. I rekao je, Brahma, u mojoj idućoj inkarnaciji i ti ćeš se pojaviti. But you will be born in a low family. Ali ćeš se roditi u niskoj obitelji. And you'll be known as Namacharya Haridas Thakur. I bit ćeš poznat kao Namacharya Haridas Thakur. And because you were born in a low family, you will never become proud. Zbog toga što si rođen u obitelji niskog roda, nikad nećeš postati ponosan. And Brahma was so happy. I Brahma je bio presretan. Yes, please, because by your mercy I get to associate with you again, and this time I won't become proud. Rekao je, da, super, tvojom milošću, moći ću se opet družiti s tobom, ali ovaj puta neću postati ponosan. So, Srila Haridas Thakur is a personification of tolerance and humility. Srila Haridas Thakur is a personification of tolerance and humility. Or Chaitanya explains, Srinati, Srinichena, Tayor Ivasa Hishnuna, Amanina, Amanidena, Kirtanina, Sadaya. One can only chant the holy names of the Lord continuously if one practices humility. Gospodin Čitanja objašnjava da osoba jedino stalno može pjevati sve to ime ako prakticira poniznost. Što je zapravo poniznost? Čujemo različite definicije poniznosti. I spisi daju par različitih definicija. Humility really means that everything I can do, or everything I am, is simply the mercy of the Lord. That's it. Aponizma zapravo znači da sve što ja mogu i sve što ja jesam je jednostavno milost gospodina. Whatever I have, it's your mercy. Whatever I can do, it's your mercy. Whatever glorification I receive is simply coming because of your mercy. Što god ja imam, to je tvoja milost. Što god ja mogu učiniti, to je tvoja milost. I kada god me netko hvali, hvali me samo zbog tvoje milosti. We see in the life of Srila Prabhupada, all the great things he did. Vidimo u životu Srila Prabhupada sve velike stvari koje on učinio. He spread Krishna consciousness around the world in 11 years. Impossible what he did. No one ever has ever done anything close to that. Proširio je svjesnost Krishna po cijelom svijetu u 11 godina. To je nemoguće. Niko nikad nije učinio ništa niti blizu tome. Opened up 108 temples, farm communities, schools, preaching centers, restaurants. Otvorio 108 hramova, farmi, 
centara za propovjedanje, škola. Ali propad nikad nije uzimao zasluge za to. It's all by the grace of my spiritual master, it's all by the grace of Krishna. Prabhupada bi uvijek rekao, sve to milošću mog duhovnog učitelja i milošću Krishna. So, when you, we do something great, kada učinimo nešto veliko, or we do something very successful, ili nešto jako uspješno, we get proud. <laughs> Postanemo ponosni. I did this. <laughs> ja sam to učinio. But there's a danger. Ali postoji opasnost. When we do something that is good or glorious. Kad radite nešto što je dobro ili slavno, and people recognize it. A ljudi to prepoznaju. You should know at that point pride can come in. Trebate znati da u tom trenutku uh, može se ušuljati ponos. Because that's the time it comes in when you receive some glorification, some credit, some praise, or even in your own mind thinking, oh, I've done something good. Mm-hmm. Ponos ulazi, znači, kada vas hvale i slave, i čak i u vašem vlastitom umu možete razmišljati, a ja sam učinio nešto dobro. So the devotee always thinks, all glory is to my spiritual master. Bhakta uvijek misli, sva slava mom duhovnom učitelju. All glory is to my, to Prabhupada. Sva slava Prabhupadu. Not like, well, 90% glory is to Prabhupada and I get 10%. <laughs> na ne, 90% slave Prabhupadu, a meni onda 10%. No, I don't ask for much, I'm giving you 90 I did do something, I get at least 10%. All right, give me 5%. <laughs> 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 I am the taste of water. Ja sam gospodin. I am the light of the sun and moon. Svjetlost sunca i mjeseca. I am the sound of ether. Zvuk u eteru. And I am the ability in all living entities. I sposobnost u svim živim bićima. If Krishna wants, he can make you forget your own name. Ako Krishna želi, može vas navesti da zaboravite vlastito ime. But he doesn't do that. Ali on to ne čini. He is all powerful. On je svemoćan. Completely. And, but when we do something, we're simply grabbing the mercy that is available because he's also merciful. Ali kad nešto učinimo, mi jednostavno uhvatimo tu Krišnjenu milost, jer Krišna je milosti. He likes to give credit to his devotees. On voli davati zasluge svojim baktama. But the devotees always like to give credit to Krišna. <laughs> Ali bakte vole davati zasluge Krišni. And so there's a competition who can give credit to the other. I to je zapravo natjecanje. Ko će pripisati zasluge onom drugom? And Krishna always wins. I Krishna uvijek pobjeđuje. But the Lord knows it's Krishna's mercy. Ali Bhakta zna, to je Krišnina milost. So, not only does the devotee not take credit, but the devotee doesn't want to be glorified. Ne samo da Bhakta ne preuzima zasluge, nego Bhakta ni ne želi da ga se služi, da se slavi. The Bhagavad Gita says that humility means not wanting the position position to be honored by others. U Bhagavad Gita piše da poniznost znači ne željeti poziciju u kojoj ćete slaviti drugi. Shila Haridas Thakur, njega slavimo. Shila Prabhupada is honored. Njega isto slavimo. Books have been written about, honors of books have been written about Prabhupada. Stotine knjiga je napisano o Prabhupada. These great souls, they understand it's not me, it's Krishna's mercy. Ali ove velike duše razumiju, a pa to nisam ja, to je Krishna milosti, to je sve. Krishna wants something to happen and he's giving me the chance 
to to formulate on his behalf. Krishna želi da se nešto dogodi i meni daje mogućnost da to napravim u njegovo ime. This is this is actual humility. To je prava ponizlost. Not thinking well I'm so low. Ne misliti o ja sam tako pao. So ja sam tako nisko pao. So wretched. Ja sam tako odvratan. Ja ne valjam. Therefore give me some prasad. Zato dajte mi prasad. Možda mi malo pomogne. No, Jen Hare Krishna. Ne, vrtite Hare Krishna. No, first Krishna. Ne, ne, prvo prasad. So, this idea, what they call it, low self-esteem, is another form of false ego. Tako zvano nisko, nisko samopouzdanje je još jedan oblik lažnog ega. Yeah, because a devotee is part and parcel of Krishna. Jer bhakta je djelić i čestica Krišne. And each soul is pure. I svaka duša je čista. So when we make these statements about low self-esteem, we're simply identifying with the mind and body. I kada dajemo te izjave koje otkrivaju nisko samopouzdanje, mi se zapravo poistovječujemo sa umom i tijelom. But the soul's business is not to take credit, but to give credit to the source. Ali posao duše nije da uzima zasluge, nego da zasluge pripiše izvoru. So real humility means I can't do anything, Lord, but you can do everything. Pravo ponizmo znači ja ne mogu ništa učiniti, ali ti, gospodine, možeš učiniti sve. And Prabhupada would say that. I Prabhupada je to govorio. He would say, do something great for Krishna. On je govorio, učini nešto veliko za Krišnu. Do something wonderful for Krišnu. Učini nešto divno za Krišnu. Try to do something that would really bring Krišnu's mercy into the world in a very significant way. Pokušaj učiniti nešto što bi stvarno dobelo Krišnu milost u ovaj svijet na neki značajan način. And Prabhupada would say, even if you fail, i Prabhupada bi govorio, pa čak i ako ne uspiješ, Everyone would say, "Oh, it was too difficult anyway." So. Svijeće reći, pa, a i onako je bilo preteško. But if you're successful, ali ako uspiješ, everyone would say, "Just see, amazing what they've done." Svijeće reći, a, pogledaj, o, prekrasno. No, Prabhupada wanted the devotees to do wonderful things to spread Krishna consciousness. Prabhupada je htio da bhakti čine prekrasne stvari kako bi proširili svijet. But he always understood it's Krishna. Krishna is always looking. Who's ready to take my mercy? Ali on je razumio, to je uvijek Krishna. Krishna uvijek gleda, ko je spreman primiti moju milost. Krishna's mercy is like the rain. Krishna milost je poput kiše. When it rains, it goes everywhere. Kada kada kiši, voda ide svuda. Goes on the water in the oceans. Ide i u vodu i u oceane. Goes on the rocks. Ide i po kamenju. The ocean doesn't need water. Oceanu ne treba voda. Nor does the rocks. Ni kamenu ne treba voda. But Krishna's mercy is always flowing. Ali Krishna milost uvijek teče. When someone asks Prabhupada, Prabhupada, give me your, give me your mercy. Neko pita o Prabhupada, Prabhupada, daj mi svoju milost. Prabhupada said, I'm giving, take it. Prabhupada je rekao, pa daj, uzmi ju. Just take it. Uzmi ju. Ona je dostupna. Generally Krishna. Pjevaj Hare Krišta. Serve the Vaishnavas. Služi Vaishnave. Preach Krišta consciousness. Propovjede svjesnost Krišta. These are how these mercies manifest in a practical way. To je način na koji se milost manifestira na praktičan način. So a devotee wants to do something to spread Krišta consciousness, to help Srila Prabhupada, to help Lord Chaitanya's mission become a reality in the world. Bhakta želi učiniti nešto kako bi pomogao Šila Prabhupadu da bi misija Šri Četanje postala realnost u ovom svijetu. Svako ima tu sposobnost, taj kapacitet. Jer taj kapacitet i ta sposobnost su Krišnjena milost. Možemo imati 
personal abilities, but only when it's used in Krishna consciousness <coughs> does it have any value. Možda mi imamo neke osobne sposobnosti, ali tek kad se one koriste u svjesnosti Krišne, one dobivaju neku vrijednost. Mnogi ljudi na ovom svijetu imaju velike sposobnosti. Neki ljudi se mogu sjetiti svega. Pogledajte tehnologiju, zapanjujuće je što sve tehnologija može. I toliki abakte su učinili tolike prekrasne stvari u svijetu. Ali to nije povezano s Krišnom. I nije mu cilj zadovoljiti Krišnom. Nego radi se o njima samima. Radi se o stjecenu popularnosti i bogatstva iz tih stvari. Iako su materijalno gledano to prekrasne aktivnosti, one ih povlače prema dolje i vode ih u grešni život. Ali kada to činite za Krišnu, onda se uzdižite. To je ta ideja. Sve činite za Krišnu. Najvažnija stvar je propovjedati svjesnost Krišne. Svijet pati. Krišna je svijetom 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 Krišna je otac koji daje sjeme i voli svako živo biće. On nije pristran prema nikome i jednak je prema svima. Ali baktama koji ovoga poduzmu korak i djeluju u njegovo ime, on daje svoju posebnu brigu, zaštitu i milost. I onda postanete bliski suradnik Krišna. I uđete u unutrašnji krug Krišninih pratitelja. Ko može biti bolji prijatelj od Krišna? I Krišna je tu, on je tu da bude naš prijatelj i sve što trebamo daje nam Krišna. Ne trebamo ići nigdje drugdje. Prabhupad nam je dao sve. Nemojte gledati van za nekakvo zadovoljstvo. Sve se nalazi u svjesnosti Krišne. Ako se češće skupimo kao bakte, imamo programe za pjevanje, dijelimo prasadan, pričamo o filozofiji, mi zapravo rastemo u svom duhovnom životu i postavimo sve bliži i bliži Krišni. Imamo li više od 30 obitelji u kongregaciji u Zagrebu? Koliko imamo obitelji? Recimo da ih je 30. Kad bi svaka od 30 obitelji napravila jedan dan u mjesecu program i pozvala sve, svaki dan u mjesecu imali bismo program. 
И можете кухать само едно месечно. Една обитель куха едно месечно и позове се бахта. И онда имате програми свако вечер. And then the material world disappears. Svako večer onda možete imati program, kirtan, prasadam i materialni svijet onda jednostavno nestane. And we can actually do it 26 days in month. Because we, you know, the other four days or Sundays we can go to the temple in those days. Da možemo to samo napraviti i 26 dana u mjesecu, jer imamo u mjesecu četiri nedelje pa možemo otići u nedelju u hram. It's so easy. Zapravo je lagano. When I was in Bosnia about four years ago, kad sam bio u Bosni prije otprilike četiri godine, I was giving the same kind of lecture. Davao sam i isto ovako predavanje, but I did something different. Ali učinio sam nešto drugčije. I pointed to each person. Pokazao sam prstom na svaku osobu. Okay, what night of the week are you going to do the program? Okay, to je da li ti jednu ćeš ti napraviti program? And then they said, oh. Onda su se oni malo onako. Onda neko drugi kaže ponedeljak. I tako sam pokrio cijeli tjedan. Znači tamo sam tražio od svake osobe da napravi program jednom tjedno, ali sad mislim i jedno mjesečno je lakše. Organizirajte to. Lideri ovdje mogu jednostavno to izorganizirati i neka se svako zapiše za jedan dan u mjesecu i da imamo program. Zvuči dobro. Ali što je zbog materialnom životom? A nastavit će se, ne brini. Uvijek možete razmisliti hoćete li ići na taj program ili ne, ne morate ići svaki put, ali uvijek imate izbor da ne morate razmišljati što ću radi danas na večer, hoću li čistiti kuhinju ili što ću. Neki od vas se smiješa, a drugi se ne smiješa. I'm looking at Ayodhya Devi smiling. On se smije. I think he's ready to take more than one month. Mislim da je spreman prihvatiti više od jednog mjeseča. So I'm, but I'm serious, I'm not just joking. And I think this is a good program for really bringing the devotees together. Ja mislim da je ovo jako dobar program da se bakte stvarno zbliže. Sadu sangu, sadu sangu, sadu sastri voj, lago matke sadu sange. Esencija naše prakse je da se bakte nađu, da pjevaju o Krišni i da uzimaju prasadu. I don't want to cook tonight. I can go to the program and get some prasadam. You can think about it. Well, I don't want to cook tonight. I'm going to the program and I'm going to the prasadam. I see so many benefits. You have a lot of good benefits. Good idea. Is that a good idea? So, all of you, those of you who are the leaders here, come together and discuss this program. Vi koji ste ovdje lideri, razmislite o ovom programu. And then when the traveling sanyasis or the traveling preachers come through, you can invite them to the program, so then it becomes a festival. I onda kada putujući sanyasi ili propovjednici, putujući dođu na taj program, 
to može jednostavno biti festival. And then Subal will come every night and do kirtan in everybody's house. I Subal će doći svako večer i imati kirtan u svačoj kući. As long as you give him some prasada. Dokle god mu date prasada. No, you don't have to. Yeah, yeah, all joking aside, I mean, serious, this is a good way. Kadamba Kana Maharaj has been saying the same thing in his lectures, too. Kadamba Kana Maharaj također govori tu istu stvar na svojim predavanjima. So, yeah, this is a way to really bring the spiritual energy up. To je način da se stvarno podigne ta duhovna energija. When I was a kid, I am still a kid, but I am. Kad sam bio djete, mislim još uvijek sam djete, ali... It was a one rock and roll band. Bio je jedan rock and roll band. It was called Jethro Tull. Zvao se Jethro Tull. There was one song I really liked. They used to sing. Bila je jedna pjesma koju sam jako volio. And the title of the song is He's not the kind you wind up on Sunday. On nije netko koju... He's not the kind you wind up on Sunday. Ok, on nije netko koga navineš u nedjelju. In other words, God is more than just once a week. Aha, Bog postoji ne samo jedan dan u tjednu. I thought it was good, it was really quite, it was a good preaching message. God is for every every day of the week, not just Sunday. To je dobra poruka za pričin. Bog je za svaki dan, ne samo za nedjelju. So yeah, we have the formula. I dakle imamo formulu. I've done some preaching in in London, a lot of preaching in London. Također sam dosta propovjedao u Londonu. And every night there's a program somewhere in London. I svake večeri je program negdje u Londonu. Svake večeri. Sometimes they say, actually, if you look at it, you can find ten programs every night in London. A ponekada možete naći u cijelom tom londonskom području i deset programa. There's so many programs every night. Ima ih jako puno, svaki dan. There's youth programs. Ima programe za mlade. Dama programs. Dama hate. Bakti rikša programs. Bakti rikša programe. And just kirtan programs. Kirtani. So, yeah. London is a really, really a great place where preaching is really going on strong. London is a wonderful place, and there is a preaching very, very, very. And Hare Krishna has become really popular in London. Hare Krishna has become really popular in London. The government likes this. Vlada nas voli. The last two prime ministers both came to the temple, and both of them put a garland on Shiva Prabhupada. Zadnje dva premijera su oba došla u hram i obojica su stavili garland. Čak i Boris Johnson došao i stavio garland čino pravopadu. Londončani u generalnom smislu cijene i poštu do Hare Krišnja. Jer smo mi posuda. And that's the idea, it will become ever, get everywhere. I to je zapravo ta poenta, trebamo biti svuda. And that's how Krishna consciousness spreads, you know. Tako se širi svjesnost Krišne. Okay, so, I guess we can end here. I brought Shiva Haridas here. Sada bismo mogli završiti. Ovdje sam doveo Shiva Haridasa. Beautiful deity of Shiva Haridas. Predivno mađanstvo Šila Haridasa. It was made from the Baku tree where Šila Haridas was Bajan Kutiris in Jagannath Puri. Napravljena je od drva Bakula koja je raste kod Bajan Kutira u Jagannath Puri. It was made from that same tree. Od tog drveta je napravljena. So he is quite beautiful. On je jako lijep. People come to me and say, he looks so happy. Oni, ljudi mi dođu i kažu, on mi izgleda tako sretno. And I say, yeah, because he's chilling, that's why. Da, zato što mantra. In other words, try it. Drugim rečima, pokušajte. And you'll be happy also. I vi ćete biti sretni. 
So come, uh, maybe sometime today, come and offer your obeisances, take darshan, and maybe even offer a prayer, because your prayers will go right to, to the Haridas. And the best prayer, of course, is to pray that we can become more and more attached to chanting of the Hare Krishna Mahajra. Zato slobodno dođite, uh, možete mu odati svoje pošto, poštovanje, uh, uzeti daršan s njim, odnosno od, pogledati ga, jel možete mu uputiti neku molitvu. I najbolja molitva je, sorry Maharaj, the best prayer is, to pray that we can become more attached to chanting Hare Krishna. Uh, da, da se molimo da budemo više vezani za mantranje Hare Krishna. And if you get a chance, this beautiful book called Namacharya, the life of Haridas Thakur, by Rupa Vilas, and uh, it's done published by Torchlight Publishing, which is our publishing house in uh, California. Yeah, if you have a chance, you can read this book from Rupa Vilas Prabhupada, which is published by California Torchlight Publishing. And a lot of the pastimes and activities of Haridas stories on uh, philosophy centered around his life is mentioned there. A lot of the stuff that I didn't mention even in the last two lectures, so there's much more. Uh, I mnoge, ta, tu su mnoge zabave iz, iz njegovog života, čak i puno više nego što sam ja spomenuo u, u ovih zadnjih dva puta. Ok, so if there's any questions or comments, okay. to uh, make some comment or questions, we have some time. Ima li pitanja ili komentara? Simultaneously. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, we see that, uh, that the living entities are very much at, at, attracted, attracted to Krishna, attached to Krishna from the story of Brahma. But my question is, what is our relationship between us when the Krishna is present and when we are attached too much, too much to him? Do we have any, like in spiritual, do we have any connections, any friendship also there? Or, or just Krishna is in the middle and everything is about him. When we are here on this planet? No. But let's see here and there also. Znači, pitanje je da, da budući da imamo odnos sa Krišnom, imamo li ovdje i u duhovnom svijetu odnose sa drugim jednom osobama? No. Well, Prabhupada explains by ex- executing devotional service, and purifying your heart, you enter into these pastimes with Krishna and eventually in the spiritual world. You, get, you qualify yourself to become one of the associates of Krishna in the spiritual world. Prabhupada mm-hmm. objašnjava da se predanim služenjem zapravo postupno kvalificiramo kako bismo postali jedan od Krišnjih pratilaca u duhovnom svijetu. So yeah, Prabhupada would always say, you can become just like Prahlad Maharaj. If you practice devotional service purely. Prabhupada bi uvijek rekao, ako čisto prakticiraš predano služenje, možeš postati baš kao Prahlad Maharaj. Every soul is pure. Svaka duša je čista. Every soul has the capacity to love Krishna completely. Svaka duša ima kapacitet voditi Krišnu u potpunosti. And every soul is never separated from Krishna. I svaka duša nikad nije odvojena od Krišna. We think we're separated. Mi mislimo da smo odvojeni od Krišne, ali nismo. We can't be separated, it's not possible. Ne možemo biti odvojeni od Krišne, to ne možemo. Odvojenost je jedino naša zaboravnost. We're always with Krišna. Mi smo uvijek s Krišne. He's always with us. I on je uvijek s nama. Even now. Čak i sad. But because we are looking outside for material happiness, enjoyment, we can't understand that we're always with Krishna. <laughs> Ali zbog toga što izvanjski tražimo uh, materijalnu sreću i uživanje, ne možemo razumjeti da smo uvijek sa Krišnom. So by chanting and by worshiping, we go deeper into our own heart and we can experience, yes, I'm with Krishna. <laughs> Mantrajući i štujući Krišnu možemo ući dublje u svoje vlastito srce i shvatiti, pa da, pa ja sam s Krišnom. 
And when you become pure, then you go back then you go back to the spiritual world and then you actually look Krishna in the spiritual world. I kad postaneš čist, onda se vratiš u duhovni svijet i zapravo si tamo onda sa Krišnom. Krišna never leaves the living being and the living being never leaves Krišna. It's not possible. Krišna nikad ne ostavlja živo biće, niti živo biće ikada ostavlja Krišnu. That leaving is called Maya. To ostavljanje se zove Maja. Which means illusion. A to znači iluzija. Is that how? The question was, what, what is the relationship between devotees or the, or the residents of the spiritual world when Krishna is there? Do they have any relation or they are everything focused on Krishna and going through Krishna? Well, <laughs> well the spiritual world means that they are associated with and serve Krishna. That's what it means. Duhovni svijet znači družiti se s Krišnom i služiti Krišnu. But in the spiritual world, people have their families. Ali u duhovnom svijetu ljudi imaju svoje obitelji. There's no sanyasis there. Tamo nema sanyasi. They're all grihastas. Svi su grihaste. Yeah. I'm serious. Because there's nothing to say. In the spiritual world, there's nothing to renounce, so there's no sannyasis. U duhovnom svijetu nemate se čega odreći, pa nikva nije u redu odricanja. So everyone's a grihaste there. Svi su tamo grihaste. They have their families. Imaju svoje obitelji. And they carry on their activities. Izvršavaju svoje aktivnosti. But they're always, everything centers around Krishna. Ali sve se vrti oko Krišna. And when the Calvary boys get together, before they get together, the mothers prepare them nice lunches. We take care of them nicely, and then they send them out to, to be with Krishna and play with Krishna. Kada majke majke spreme djecima pastirima ručkove i tada ih pošalju da idu van sa Krishna. So Prabhupada would say, whatever you see in this world is in the spiritual world, and it's reality, and it's pure, pure form. Prabhupada je znao govoriti što god vidite u ovom svijetu. U duhovnom svijetu je zapravo stvarno i u svom čistom obliku. So, cows are there, the animals are there, people are there, houses are there. Znači tamo su krave, životinje, ljudi, kuće. Bill Gates is not there. Bill Gates is not there. I'll never get there either. I on neće nikada tamo doći. We're praying for him. But everything is there in this pure, pure form. Sve je tamo u svom čistom obliku. So our relationship with Krishna is in the spiritual world. And here is to serve Krishna in different ways. By serving each other, we're also serving Krishna. Naš odnos sa Krišnom znači služiti Krišnu na različite načine i služiti druge zapravo isto služimo Krišnu. And you can serve a person by doing something for their body and mind. Možeš služiti osobu na način da učiniš nešto za njeno tijelo i um. I to je također služba. Ali najbolja služba je nekoga približiti Krišnu. Jer kad ljudi imaju Krišnu, onda imaju sve. Pomeže li to? Da. Yes. In your lecture you mentioned someone with a low self-esteem and that this person is also on a false ego. Mm -hmm. And how to assist someone who is on a false ego with a low self-esteem? Because they usually want to act as a victims and they don't want yes. solutions for their situations. So how to assist such persons? Well, if they don't want solutions, then it's hard yeah. to help anybody who doesn't want solutions. Znači, Prabhu je postavio pitanje kako pomoći osobi koja ima nisko samopouzdanje i zapravo djeluje s razine lažnog ega i zapravo odbija sva rješenja koja joj se porude jer želi djelovati kao žrtva. Trebate im objasniti da su oni čiste duše, a duša je savršena. So they're identifying with something that's not them. 
ne tegi i ne stemi. Oni se poistovjećuju s nečim što nisu oni, ali misle da su to oni. We have to bring them back to their identity as spiritual beings. Trebamo ih vratiti u njihov identitet kao duhovnih bića. You're not this body. You're not low. You're not whatever you think you are. You are actually a pure soul as part and parcel of Krishna that has love for Krishna, has pure spiritual knowledge and never takes birth and never dies. <laughs> Ti nisi ovo tijelo, nisi nizak i nisi što god misliš da jesi, ti si vječna duhovna duša, djelič i čestica Krišne koja se nikad ne rađa i nikad ne umire. Ljudi koji razmišljaju na ovaj način su zapravo često obuzeti tijelesnim konceptom. If you just try to remind them that, hey, Krishna loves you, <laughs> you're important to Krishna. <laughs> Ako pokušate direktno riješiti taj problem, vjerojatno nećete ništa postići, ali zato trebate osobu podsjetiti, hey, Krishna te voli, ti si važan Krišni. Try to remind them about who they are and what is their relationship to the Lord. Treba ih podsjetiti tko su i koji je njihov odnos sa gospodinom. That may help. Mm-hmm. To može pomoći. Because mm-hmm. no one can stay like that. I mean, either you go go farther down or you have to change. Niko ne može ostati u tom stanju. Ili ide još dublje dolje, ili će se promijeniti. But it's self-pity, and again, and again it's, it's just a feature that I'm this body. And I wanted to be great, and I can't be great, therefore I should be great by being not great. To samo sažaljenje se manifestira na način da kao ja sam ovo tijelo i ja sam htio biti velik, ali sad ne mogu biti velik, pa ću biti velik po tome što nisam velik. Yeah, they want to call attention to themselves in the opposite way. Privlače pažnju na sebe na suprotan način. To je laž nijego. Mi smo društvo za obrazovanje. Mi učimo tko je Krišna, tko ste vi i koji je vaš odnos sa Krišnom. So how about the Buyen? We have morning classes, evening classes, we have books, we have seminars. The idea is to learn. Zato imamo jutarnja predavanja, večerna predavanja, imamo knjige, imamo seminare, znači poanta je da učimo. Sentiment is good, but sentiment has to be guided by sound knowledge. Sentiment je ok, ali sentiment treba biti vođen zdravim znanjem. Yeah, 
sentiment is, uh, bhakti is devotional, it's, it's emotional, but if, unless it's, it's connected with philosophy, it's, it's just plain sentiment. It leads, can lead anywhere, it doesn't, there's no direction. Philosophy is the direction, sentiment is the mood. Mm -hmm. Uh, bhakti, uh, ima, uh, uh, bhakti je emocionalna, ali bez filozofije ona ne vodi nikud. I zato filozofija, uh, filozofija je smjer, a, a bhakti je uh, raspoloženje. Prokvat bi rekao za sebe. Prokvat bi rekao za sebe. I have a heart of a Bengali mother. Mm -hmm. Imam srce bengalske majke. And I have a mind of an army English officer. <laughs> Combined too. So in other words, uh, strong mind, soft heart. But strong mind means fixed in knowledge, not just this arrogance, but in real knowledge. Jak um znači biti utemeljen u pravom znanju, ne samo biti arogantan. But bhakti is at the heart, but unless the heart is guided, the heart can go in the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but this is an example of Arjuna. Arjuna. Yeah. Arjuna. Yeah. In the beginning, uh, Krishna criticized him for, for wrong sentiment. Yeah? Krishna ga je kritizirao zbog pogrešnih sentimenata. He said, you're speaking nice words, but you're a fool. Rekao je, govoriš lijepe riječi, ali ti si budala. Thank you. That's a very important point. So learn the books. Prabhupada said, I made these books for the devotees, not for selling. Yes. Naučite knjige. Prabhupad je rekao, napisao sam ove knjige za, za bakte, a ne samo za prodaj. Bakte se skupe, odaberu temu i diskutiraju. Your Guru Maharaj was good at that. You would pick a particular topic and then you just explore that topic until you can't find anything else to say about it. You just go into one, one particular topic and, and you see it from different angles, different perspectives. And then you become knowledgeable of that particular topic. And you can do that with many topics. Vaš Guru Maharaj je bio jako dobar u tome, znači on bi odabrao neku temu i istraživao bi toliko dugo o toj temi dok više ne bi bilo ništa za istražiti i onda možete steći znanje o toj temi i to možete učiniti sa mnogim temama. Ali ako vas ne zanima filozofija, onda jednostavno pevajte Hare Krišna. All day. All day. That was my next statement. <laughs> <laughs> then you, you are you're exhibiting the highest philosophical principles. <laughs> Otherwise your mind will bother you. Your mind will say, this is not right, she's not right, he's not right, I'm not right, it's not right. Mind just keeps bothering me. On vas stalno vijavi. Just tell him, shut up. Just tell him, shut up. It works. It's not the other way. Yeah, it's not the other way. Okay, so I have to be at the temple by 4.15 Trebam biti u hramu do 4.15 Znači imam sat vremena Možda možemo ovdje stati da svi uzmu prasadat I onda na večer je program u templu Hvala vam puno Hvala vam puno Hvala vam puno